Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Back again. Um, I was going to show these. I wasn't going to do it. What? He's trying to get under your hat to avoid the rain. Oh, my beard. Yeah. But, uh, get on smoke. I wasn't going to do another video, Miss Kitty's always, you said you're going to do it at the end of that, so, bring a black crap on it, man, it has been raining on me off and on all day, uh, now Miss Kitty's trying to blow it to me, um, uh, it's been tough working today, it was good for a while, and it was bad for a while, and I still got two bacon in there that I'm going to get back to to finish up, but, so anyway, so I was going to go over these, there's one of the, um, I guess I'll sign it, but one of the uh, Trap Spring Liver Eating Johnsons. Liver Eater. And I got another little, uh, nice little patch knife, and you can put it around your neck or, you know, carry a little scabbard in your pocket. And these are already sold. I've got to get them shipped out. But a couple of more uh, railroad spike knives. And everybody loves the spike knives. And then I thought I'd touch base too, cause uh, um, the question about biochar and why I like it better than um, coal. And the main reason I like it better than coal, for one, it's uh, free. <laughs> and, uh, for two, it's uh, man breathing the coal. Cause when I started doing it, I used coal, man, and it, and you know. You get that black lung. I mean, it is even you know wearing a respirator or whatever. It's still pretty dang gnarly. Um, in this, you know, when I started looking into it and the biochar and all that, it's not that bad. You want to come over here? This <laughs> kitty's over there holding her breath. She's turning purple. But uh, um, oh, when I started, so I ended up researching it and stuff because, like I said, we're not coal country, so getting coal up here is Man, these days it's gotten a lot tougher. You can still get it, you know, here and there, but you pay pretty good for it. And, you know, I started reading in my books and stuff like that from back in the day. What are you looking at me like that for? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Am I going on too long? No. Oh, okay. On the smoke. It's, it's okay. Again? I can okay, hold my but, breath. Um, you're giving me the look. Like, hey. <laughs> Sitting behind the camera. <laughs> and so I was reading and all that, you know, I'm thinking, man, how did they, you know, forge the, the haul coal over here and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they actually had used wood and basically biochar is charcoal, you know. I ended up, I made a deal, I ended up burning my beard off one time making the, we, the first year we moved up here. And, you know, you burn it down. A lot of people use drums. I had this old stove that I used and you, you get it burning. And then you shut it down with just a little bit of air, and basically it makes charcoal, you know. But we've found, I started, after doing that, after burning my beard off and stuff, I started going up to the burn areas, and I've used it enough now, I know, um, I can just look at it and tell if it's good biochar. So I don't know if that answered the, the question, but uh, it, um... I love it, man. That's, you know, I mean, getting smoked out right now. Miss Kitty was getting smoked out with coal. She'd be out of here. Yeah, I would not be yeah, standing here. Yeah, no, man, it's mm -hmm. gnarly. But this, I mean, it just smells pitchy and piney, so. Mm -hmm. I just like the biochar. But anyway, back to the knives. The liver eater and the little uh, patch knife will be. I got to go in there and sign them, and then uh, they'll be on that old hillbilly. And, of course, those spikes are available for pre-order. Yes, you can pre-order these. I actually got an order for four of them. So I'm going to finish up the other two. They'll be finished tonight. And if I don't die out here, smoke inhalation. So, we'll check in again tomorrow. Y'all have a wonderful evening.